In this video, I'll use a 5 16th diameter drill to drill the four holes prior to the tap operation. Once again, I'll use copy to duplicate the spot drill operation and then modify the copied operation into the 5 16th drilling operation. Following the drilling, I will tap the four 3 8 16th diameter holes. Now, as before, I'll use copy to duplicate the 5 16th drilling operation just completed and then modify the copied operation into a tap operation. So let's get started. Now, before we move on and move into the toolpaths, what I'm going to do is tidy up the toolpaths manager. Now, what I'm going to do in the white space, I'm going to right mouse click and then click on collapse. Now, don't panic, don't have a cardiac arrest, the toolpaths haven't disappeared. I'm just going to click on the plus sign next to toolpath group one. And there they are. There's our five operations, they haven't disappeared. So, what we're going to do now is copy this third operation. So what I'm going to do is right mouse click over the folder. I'm going to drag it down, let go. And then what I'm going to pick is copy after. Now, before we move on, just going to move on up and move the insert arrow down just one item. Next up, just going to click on the plus sign just to the left of this six operation. Let's go in and modify this operation. So what I'm going to do is click on parameters of this six operation. First order of business, we're going to move over to tool. Now what we're after is a 5 16th diameter drill. So I'm going to click on select library tool and scroll down and find our tool. And there's the 5 16th diameter drill, 0.3125 diameter. I'm going to click on OK. Now for the feed rate, I'm going to change that to 15 inches a minute. And the spindle speed, 4,500. So we're looking good here. Next up, over on the Cut Parameters page, I'm going to open up the Cycle drop-down, and we're going to be pack drilling. Now for the pack drill amount, I'm going to change that to 0.3. So that's our peck amount. Next up, link in parameters. So the clearance is an absolute, set to two, beautiful. And we've also got activated, use clearance only at the start and end of operation. So that's good. For the retract, it's set at absolute and the value is 0.6, perfect. Now the top of stock is absolute, 0.325, exactly what we want. Now for the depth, it's set at absolute. I'm going to change the depth to zero. Now, over on the left hand side, let's go and activate the tip comp. So I'm going to click on tip comp, activate it up in the top left corner here, and the breakthrough amount, I'm going to make that 0.1. Now, as we move down and check out coolant, as you can see, coolant is turned on because it's just a copy of that previous operation. Let's click on the OK button. Now, as you can see, we've got a dirty operation here. What I'm going to do is move on up and click on Regenerate All Dirty Operations. Now, what we're going to do for the next stop is make a copy of this six operation. So as we did before, I'm just going to right mouse click, drop down, let go, and pick on Copy After. Now, before we move on, just going to click on the move insert arrow down one item so we're looking good and then for this six operation I'm just going to click on the minus sign so next up let's go and modify modify rather this seventh operation going to click on the parameters for operation seven going to move over to the tool page and what we're after is a 3816 tap so I'm going to click on select library tool we're going to move on down and find our tab and there it is 3816 tab right hand so I'm going to click on OK
what I'm going to do now is change the spindle speed to 713 inches a minute and as you can see the feed rate has been updated now the feed rate here we've got the RPM at 713 divided by 16 threads per inch that equals our feed rate so we're looking good here next up let's go check out cut parameters now at the moment it's set to pec drill and what we need to do is change it to tap looks good let's move over to the linking parameters page now now on linking parameters starting at the top we got the clearance absolute to beautiful use clearance only at the start and end of operation is activated so that's good retract absolute 0.6 beautiful top of stock 0.325 wonderful now the depth absolute zero going to change that to negative 0 0.2 now over on the left hand side what I'm going to do is go into tip comp and I'm going to deactivate tip comp now as you can see if I go back to linking parameters we've got our depth set at negative 0.2 now if we check the coolant out as you can see it's set to on looks good and we're done here going to click on OK and then regenerate all dirty operations to get rid of this red X and everything is looking good time to do a save now that completes this video thanks so much for watching and I'll be talking with you soon